Hey guys, uh, welcome to another Cigar Talks with Jason. Uh, frankly, I'm really surprised I didn't do a video on this earlier. Uh, but what I wanted to talk about today is bullying. And bullying has evolved a lot uh, with technology, social media, whatnot. Um, me, personally, as a kid... I was bullied constantly in school. Um, I was not the same man you see now. I was very, very skinny. And yeah, uh, pretty much the polar opposite of what I am now. And that's one of the things that does play into my physical appearance now. Um, fortunately, though, when I was a kid, bullying would occur at school. And then that was it. You know, but now with social media, it's a 24 hour a day cycle. I mean, there was that uh, one porn star who made a perfectly logical and valid, you know, I'm not saying I agree with her, but it was completely logical. And, you know, just based on probabilities, comment on social media, which was followed by like days of constant bullying from anyone and everyone through every outlet. Uh, online, it unfortunately led to her taking her own life. Um, so I can't even imagine what it's like for kids or, you know, people today because the bullying doesn't end the second you leave because it just goes on to Facebook or Twitter or Instagram, you know, whatever else. Uh, so, you know, that has definitely changed. But the fundamental... Uh, problem and dynamics is very much still the same. Bullies, generally speaking, hate their own life. It, it, it's they hate their life, and if they didn't, they wouldn't bully people. And you know, they don't feel like they have any control, and they're able to feel better about themselves for a very short period of time. By making someone else's life worse than theirs. It's really sick and disgusting. But that's the psychology behind it. Uh, so this is all just my humble opinion. But it kind of plays into the same basic concept as uh, you know, coming out or talking about sexual fetishes, kinks, etc. You know, it's the same thing of... Um, my name's Billy, and I really hope that I'm gay, and I hope you accept me. Like, if that's the way you come across, you are going to get bullied. Period. End of story. That's going to attract bullies like flies to shit. However, in contrast, if it's, yeah, I like men. There's nowhere to go with it. And... You know, even if you're not that confident, you know, I certainly was that confident, was not that confident when I was a little kid. But even if you're not that confident, you know, it's the whole thing of fake it until you make it. If you at least try to fake it and project it that you are confident, because the thing is, like, think about it in the jungle. The cheetah or the lion doesn't go for the strongest gazelle they go for the weakest, slowest one. And bullies, same basic concept. If you portray, you know, strength and confidence, and I'm not saying you have to be a douchebag asshole, but if you're confident, bullies are not going to be attracted to that. They're going to go for the guy or the girl who they view as weak or who they can get a uh, reaction out of. Because, you know, it's almost cliche, but, you know, you see all the time in movies or TV shows, a bully will try and try and try and try, you know, oh, I'm not touching you, I'm not touching you, or, you know, some stupid little shit. If they don't get a reaction, it's not fun for them. They're going to move on to someone else. So... So the first thing is, number one, not giving a bully a reaction. Uh, number two is standing up for yourself. It's, do me a favor, after you're done watching this video, 
go YouTube a song. It's called uh, White Flag by Bishop uh, Briggs, B-R-I-G-G-S. Just listen to the song, but the main thing I want you to focus on in the song is the lyrics. And that's kind of how your mentality needs to be. You know, don't be afraid to stand up for yourself because, you know, it's it's same basic concept applies. You know, don't necessarily focus on the content of the situation, but the process. You know, someone, you go to prison, and if you bend over and take it up the ass, you know, for your speech, but, you know, you just capitulate to anything, you've just guaranteed your entire time there will be that. And... In contrast, if the first time someone screws with you, you actually fight back, no one's ever going to mess with you again. Because even if you got your ass kicked, you're not easy prey. Why would they go for you? Even if they can beat you, that takes a hell of a lot more work to bully that person who's going to fight back than to bully someone who's just going to lay over, you know, lay down and do whatever. So I'm not saying it needs to come to a physical altercation, but don't be afraid to, to stand your ground. And as far as all this shit translating to online, I mean, personally, (laughs) this is just me, but like when I get trolled online, it's actually like the highlight of my day. Cause you know, when someone makes some like sarcastic or snide comment or you know, whatever, all I do is click on their name and I click block and I don't think about it ever again. So, you know, don't be afraid to do that. Don't let it affect you. It's kind of like, uh, it's kind of cliche, but you know, it's, if someone cuts you off in traffic, well, they just cut you off. You're not going to change that. But what you can change is how you let it affect you. Are you going to let it ruin the rest of your day? Or are you going to say shit happened and move on and have an amazing day? So it's that, you know, mental thing, how you choose to let it affect you, focusing on the things you can control versus the things you can't control. If you can't go back in time and change what happened, then let it go. Uh, you know, bullying, there's just so many different aspects to it. Uh, you know, and, and, you know, as far as it really kind of depends on the situation, but if it's at a uh, workplace or school or whatever, you just got to tune that shit out. I mean, it's, people are going to say what they're going to say. And, and like I've discussed in other videos, No matter what you do in any aspect of life, you can never please everyone. So, you know, let's say you got 200 guests invited to a dinner. No matter what you serve, someone's going to be pissed off. So, same basic thing applies. Not everyone's always going to like you. That's impossible. So, you know, focus on the good relationships and whatnot that you have. And if there's people who are talking shit about you online or in person or whatever, fuck them. Don't let that shit get to you. Don't give them the power. Don't give them the satisfaction. And, you know, as far as different traits, you know, maybe you're effeminate, maybe you have a higher pitched voice, maybe you, I don't know what it is. Maybe they don't like your beard, maybe whatever. Who cares? That's you. Just be you. You're amazing the way you are. And once again, you're never going to please everyone. So don't let that shit get to you. You know, it's kind of like when I talked about open relationships in the past. And one, probably the most difficult thing for most people is like, oh, what if my partner, you know, finds someone who can do this better than me? Okay, great. They can do that better than you, but you can do 200 things better than them. So it's all the mental, you know, it's all mental as far as focusing on the positives, focusing on the things you know. And letting that other shit go. And it's about projecting confidence, projecting strength, not showing those uh, vulnerabilities. Uh, At the end of the day, we all have things we don't like about ourselves that we wish we could change. But don't show those vulnerabilities. Don't give people that way in. Don't let them get inside your head and fuck with you. 
realistically, I could probably talk about this subject all night long. So if you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comments. I'll address them one by one. Or you can message me privately if you'd prefer. Uh, but I really hope that I was able to provide some form of insight into bullying and psychology behind it. And, you know, if, if that is something that you experience or someone you know experiences, maybe you'll able, you're able to take one of these two things and, you know, apply it and hopefully that situation gets better. But, again, focus on the things you can't control, the things you can't, fuck it, let it go. Don't give it the power to control your emotions. Don't give the asshole the satisfaction of knowing that he got to you. It's, it's something that I always say in life. Either you control your emotions or they control you. Uh, if you like this video, please like, comment, share, subscribe. I really, really, really appreciate it. I love you all.